Hi there, Rory Neary from Data Spinners here. Today I am going to kick off a project. It's something that I've had in my mind for a little while. Um, and the idea is around uh, how it is children in school uh, record the progress on their art projects. But it could really be anything. Um, and the idea is that they would have a finalized project but as the project kind of goes along that they take photos and they can put their comments next to it because by the time you get to the finalized project you can never remember what you did so I am going to jump on to PowerPoint because this is quite a nice way of, um, of expressing how I want the screens to work and, and express to you how it uh, is done uh, what I'm going to do with this is turn it into a short series and hopefully guide you through the entire process. So I'm going to do a few duplicate slides here um, and we'll see how we go. So the idea is we're going to have a landing page. Um, this, is this is going to be a this is going to be a project done um, on a landscape basis so it's a kind of iPad type format so we're gonna have a landing page and um, and we are gonna have um, something like um, do a nice we'll do a nice image and we will just have uh, two boxes this is the first one is gonna be uh, review uh, actually no I'll go for I'm gonna back on that uh, this is going to be new project and then this is going to be review projects and we can have some kind of image in this area here um, and so once we're going to we're going to hit that button and then we're going to go to our new project um, page. So this is our uh, new new project. Oh, it's doing its little funny thing again. So this is new project page. So this is where we're going to have uh, we're going to enter some headline items. So let's just imagine what that might look like and um, I guess what you're gonna have is maybe first up we'll have the image here but we can we can change this around as we go along maybe it's a terrible idea um, so we'll have the image here and we'll do um, just do something with like name um, of project um I'll put user but it's you know essentially it's the person that is is going to be um this is the the child that's going to be um creating the work and so on and so I'll just make sure this is image final final image um and then we are so we're going to have some details um let's just say teacher no it's not bad and I think we ought to have date started date start date and something like that we perhaps don't need these but we'll, we'll see how we go um, and the idea is that we will also have a gallery here of all of the images um, so let's just say that this is uh, 10 9 8 7 and so the idea is that you can you can scroll up and down through the images that make up your project now I think what I would be looking to do would also be to have a button for um, a new line item as well 
I haven't quite worked out what the best way of, of doing that would be um, because I'd like for them to be able to uh, let's just put new light let's just say for argument's sake it's new line item not a great um, uh, and then that'll take us through to this page here um, and we will have this as let's just call it new new line item new line item and what we will do is they'll have the chance to take a photo so they will have a chance to take a photo which will be something like here and um, then usually well certainly the way I've done it in the past is that the this this is live this photo is here whereas this is the photo that you've taken if that makes sense and then we can have um, a comment section here it's a bit big actually but um, we can we can move this around so comments um, and I would expect to put something like a, uh, a date uh, I'd go for a date time here. So then, what are we going to do? We're going to put comments so people can put whatever comments they like, and then they'll do a button at the bottom which is submit item. And that, um, I was going to say that's probably nearly there, and then the final screen will be one where we get to see. Um, when we click through on an image, we will get to see a full version of the image. So I'm just going to put, you know, well them. Um, I'm just going to put a great big image here, um, and then we'll do things like back buttons and what have you. But at the moment, I'm not too concerned with that. I think it's usually good practice to have. Um, it's quite good to have a header, particularly once you get into this area, um, just so that people can know where they are. So we'll have a header here, and then what we can do is we can have um, we can have a, a home icon and a back icon, uh, and then we can just repeat those as we go through. So this is the um, this is the wireframe for the project. So I am going to leave it at that. And in the next video, I'll start putting together, uh, well, actual fact, it's probably best to put together the SharePoint side of things. So the, um, the places where the images are going to land and so on. So thanks for watching. Oh. And do give them um, do give a thumbs up if it uh, if it's all working for you. Comments down below, all that sort of thing. Um, one of my ra reasons for doing this project is to I'm trying to get um, up to a hundred subscribers. I'm currently on sixty nine, and if I get a hundred subscribers, I get to name the channel, which would be kind of nice. And um, so um, you know. Please thumbs up. Uh, be awesome if you could subscribe, um, and um, we'll catch up soon in the next video.